All right, Troy Weaver reacts to, you know, falling two spots from the fifth spot or projected fifth spot to the seventh spot. Um, let's also talk about how that couldn't really be a bad thing. It actually might be a really good thing, but let's get to it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, Mercy Sports Talk. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella. And, um, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. He said, you know, in the Bible, uh, if you believe in them things or that thing, and the seven is a lucky number. He ain't really mad. Don't hang your head. You know, you had Luke Kennard talking about it. Don't get mad. Don't hang your head. And you know what? People in Detroit just tired of getting fucked over. You know, when you see when you see blatant cheating, you know, and you can't do nothing about it, you just you get tired of it, man. People put their heart and souls into their hometown teams. But for the NBA to probably be the most cheating sports league in America, it just ain't fair. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, in 2020, you for you you let us know you forcing us to put the Jordan logo on the jersey. People really ain't feeling that. We should have that ex exemption, all right? But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we know the draft lottery is rigged. The NBA is rigged. They rig it as much as possible. It's the most rigged sports out there. And, you know, it ain't no point to complain like Troy, Troy, uh, Troy Weaver said. We're going to get to work. He's going to start evaluating. And he said, really, from three to seven, it's, you know, it's really no separation. I think it's no separation at all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honestly, I think it's no separation at all. You know, I'm not huge on Anthony Edwards. If he go first to Minnesota, I mean, I think that's the worst possible situation. Him and D'Angelo Russell, Minnesota couldn't got the worst pick. In the, Minnesota couldn't have got the worst pick at the worst time. Because if you look at some of the guys that can go, you know, anybody can go top or bottom. I mean, it could be Anthony Bennett draft. You could have somebody, you know, take a guy that is not projected to go number one. They might like Hale Burton. You know, he might go number one. So there's no clear number one. They could put LaMelo up there. You put LaMelo with DeAndre Russell. That's, you ask him for, you know, you ask him for failure. That's not a good fit with LaMelo playing next to DeAngelo Russell. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about Wiseman or the other center from USC. I kind of like him as well. That don't fit. You could put that other, I guess you could put the USC center next to uh, Carl Anthony Towns. But, you know, could he get out on the perimeter defense is the question. Um, you know, you know, who who can they pick? Obi Toppins, you know what I'm saying? They can get up and run with Toppins. Um really, they're in a position like where this draft is small at or well, strong at for Minnesota. Um they already strong there. Guard, point guard, and then you got the center. So you got a lot of guards and point guards and centers that's already up there. Are you gonna turn DeAndre Russell into a two? I mean like I said, Minnesota got got that pick the worst time, and then obviously the Warriors are open up um, and talking about you know moving that pick you know for a veteran player that can help them. And um, like I said before, man, Troy King, Troy Weaver, excuse me, right? You know this is a uh, it's no separation between nobody. Now somebody might separate themselves when the leagues the league year start or as their career continue on, but I really think this is a uh, this is a win win for the for the Pistons. Unless they fail to like 14 or 9 or 11, I really ain't mad because, look, when you – a lot of times when you pick in that 5 to 7 range or that 10 range, we had opportunities. Even we had opportunity to drive Michael Porter, but we traded that pick to the Blake for Blake Griffin. We took Stanley over Booker. <laughs> no, we took KCP over McCullum, over Giannis, over Gobert. So – it ain't like it ain't been players at those spots before. You know what I'm saying? We got drumming right around that area. We just miss. We just continually miss on those picks between Joe Dumars and Stan Van Gundy. Now, Troy Weaver calling card is evaluating talent. So that's the positive here. I mean, you know, I think all possibilities are open. You know, I don't know how many individual workouts they're going to be able to do. I don't know how many, you know, you know, scouting combines, how they going to do that? They announced they'll do it with some select few people that's going to be, uh, you know, invited to come. But I think every every possibility is open. Seriously, every possibility is open. I mean, I'm starting to do some evaluations of some players. So it'll be about a little minute before I do draft spotlight, probably Monday. But I'm starting to evaluate some players. And be honest, you know, I can see anybody going at seven for us. Why not James Wiseman? What if you lose Christian Wood? Or what if you want to play put Wiseman with Wood? Wiseman was the number one recruit coming into college basketball. You know, why not Wiseman? Even if you keep Christian Wood, that work. Wiseman, Wiseman can protect the rim. You find your drummer replacement. Y'all happy that Christian Wood ain't playing center? You can put Christian Wood at power forward. 
Diambo, Wood, and Wiseman creating the front line that's athletic, that can run up and down the floor. And you get your rim defender in Wiseman and a guy that's probably going to develop offensively. You know, do the backcourt look a little bit, you know, uh, weak? Yeah, I mean, Luke Kennard, you can't count on him to play, you know, three games in a row without just talking about his knee hurting. And Derrick Rose, and you don't have a future at point guard. Yeah, it hurt. It hurt. But you could trade back into the first round and get the point guard from France, Diambo boy. You know what I'm saying? You can, you know, you know, think about Fred Van Fleet. Um, you can, you know, orchestrate a trade. I mean, you know, it's open. You know, people talk about the kid from USC being undersized, but I really don't. I can see him and Wood playing together. Um, but he can play. He can shoot the ball from mid range. I'm not concerned if a if a power forward or center can stretch the floor. If you play the game the right way, he won't have to. So. I like his game, athletic, play above the rim. That's somebody to consider. Obviously, Obi Toppins. <laughs> I mean, Obi Toppins, then you really be playing small ball with Christian Wood and Obi Toppins. Toppins can play three or four, get up and down the floor. But, you know, what you're really looking at is Tyrese Hill, Hale Burton. You're looking at, Ty, uh, what's his name? Mr. Maxey from uh, Kentucky, Tyrese Maxey, um, Cole Anthony, Killian Hayes. You're looking at those guys uh, first, but. To be honest, you just got to really take the best player available. People talk about RJ Hampton. See somebody in the uh, comment section talk about him. Um, but we can't get into the situation where um, we can't get in the situation where we need, uh, where we go in for need. And then we miss out on a really, really good player. So I don't think we're really in a good position. Um, I don't think it's nothing to hang our hat on. Uh, a lot of these dudes want to hang their hats and, you know, say, oh, we should have got. I was mad too last night, but I anticipated that. Because the lottery of uh, ping pongs will never bounce our way. But to be honest, um, you know, anything can happen. You know, anything can happen. It's a lot of good players. I don't think it's no separation. Even from Edwards to LaMelo to Obi to Wiseman to the kid from USC, who name I can't pronounce, Hale Burton, Max. It, it ain't no separation between them right now. I think the workouts and the interview process will start to separate them a bit. But I really don't see no no separation. Now, will some people be better than others? Will somebody be a star? Who knows? Will somebody be an all star? Possibly. Will somebody be a, a failure? Like, damn, how did they take this guy? Yes, all those things will happen. Okay, all those things could happen. But you know, as long as we get a player that's gonna contribute, do we need a point guard? Absolutely. Right now, we don't have a point guard of the future. You know, we got Derrick Rose, and he talking about already talking about making his great escape to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, obviously you got Chris Dunn out there that's a free agent. You got Van Fleet that you kind of, he really not a classic point guard. So, obviously, point guard is going to be high on the priority list. But if you got a guy like Wiseman or Toppins or Edwards that do slide, you feel that he's better than the point guards, you got to go with them. But, you know, it's a lot of good dudes there. I was checking out Tyrese uh, Hellburton, I'm excuse me, uh, the Hellburton guy, whatever his name was. And he pretty good. Kind of got a funky little shot, you know what I'm saying? But... He pretty good. Cole Anthony, he was injured at North Carolina. He explosive. He got, you know, he got the he got the uh the genetics, the background his dad, Greg Anthony, played for UNLV and played Portland, New York, and bounced around the league. So he got that pedigree. But, you know, to be honest, anything couldn't happen. You know, RJ Hampton is another guy that was over in Australia doing his thing. And um, you know, you just got a lot of really good talented players that's gonna rise, it's gonna fall. And they just got to find the best player possible, man. But when Detroit is good, Detroit really has a really good floor general, man. Be uh, Isaiah Grant, they was okay. Or Chauncey Billups, they got to find that floor general. And if they find that floor general, then I think they'd be all right. But if you feel that Wiseman is the guy, you know, you go with him. You know, they could be getting rid of Christian Wood. They could be keeping him. I think him and Wiseman could play together. You know, they could be one athletic team. But you don't want to get into the situation that you was with Andre Drummond, where Drummond is a dude that, you know, can do what Wiseman do, but he didn't really have a point guard or the facilitator to get the best or make the most out of his game. So you don't want to be in that situation. But, you know, at the end of the day, they still can deal for a point guard. You know, did with it. He said he ain't coming back to Detroit. He said that again yesterday. So ain't nobody, you know, crying over spilled milk. He holding grudges over a regime that's been gone. But, I mean, that is what it is. I mean, you might have some other guys out there that could be available at the point guard position. So let me know what you guys think. I think, you know, this ain't the worst. You know, this draft. You know, this will kind of be the draft that the Lions will, I mean, the Pistons will get the number one pick in, where it's really no clear number one. You kind of want to be the number one pick when Imani Bates come out, Zion, LeBron James, something like that. But, you know, I'm really ain't concerned. I think uh, Troy, Troy Weaver is good at evaluating talent. 
Hopefully that kind of transfers over to the Detroit organization. But don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? Cash app, PayPal, in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. And don't forget Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got a question, business inquiry, sponsorship, video requests, whatever that situation may be. Twitter is the fastest way. Then Facebook, then Instagram. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you guys think. Want to make a donation? Just share the video. But cash app, PayPal, in the description. And also, a good way to make a donation, check out the channel while right here on YouTube, Goodfellas Sports TV. One time for the one time, we gone.